to my next video on graphing piecewise functions. The last video looked at an introduction to evaluating piecewise functions. Today we'll look at graphing them. If you haven't looked at the introduction to evaluating them, it might be a good idea if you're unfamiliar with these types of functions so that you have a little bit of an idea of what's going on. Let's begin with this nice function f. f has three different rules depending on what input we give it. If we give it a value from negative 3 up to negative 1, we follow the, val the function of 2x. If we give it a value from negative 1 up to 3, it follows x plus 1. And for values greater than or equal to 3, it follows 3x minus 2. I prefer to handle these situations each independently. So we're going to begin with the function f of x equals 2x. For that situation, we're going to look at a y-intercept at 0 and a slope of 2. So it's going to go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, or even down 2, back 1, down 2, back 1, down 2, back 1. And then I would draw a line through those points. Okay. However, in this situation, it specifically says we're only dealing with values from negative 3 to negative 1. So here's negative 3. Follow that down. And here's negative 1. Following that down. Okay. It can include negative 3. So I'll put a solid circle for the value that it can include but then it cannot include negative 1. It goes up to that. So I'll put a solid circle around there. Now if you're using a pencil, this is where I would take and erase the excess. But since I'm doing this digitally, what I'm going to do is actually take and shrink the line down. You would actually you would use a pencil if you were using that. You'd erase it, the part that you don't need. But I'm doing this digitally, so I'll do it this way. Okay. So this is the only part of that graph I would actually be using, okay? So I'll go ahead and get rid of all my other marks on the page because I don't need them. And I move on to the next rule, x plus 1. When f of x equals x plus 1, there's a y-intercept at 1 and a slope of 1. So it goes up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1 or down one, back one, down one, back one. And I'll put my line through those points. Okay. Now, it says it only obeys this for values greater than or equal to negative one and less than three. So I'm going to find those places. Here's negative one. Okay, that's right along that here. And here's positive 3. 1, 2, 3. All right. I didn't quite go far enough with my line. That's okay. I'll fix it later. It can include negative 1. So I'm going to put a solid dot at where x is negative 1 on the line. But it cannot include positive 3. It goes up to that. So I'll put an open circle there. Now is when I would take and erase the extra part of the graph and only keep it between those two points. Okay, So let's go ahead and do that. I'm doing it digitally though. So I'd erase all of that and then I would erase all my other markings and I, I'd want to make sure that this goes out to that marking there. And I'll erase all my other markings now. Okay, Because they're unnecessary. All right. We have one last part to go by, and that's the f of x equals 3x minus 2. All right, we have a y-intercept of negative 2, so I'll go down to negative 2, and then a slope of 3. So I'm going to go up 3 over 1, up 3, 1, 2, 3, over 1, up 3, over 1. 
Now I'm going to end up running right off the page here, but we get enough points there for our purpose. So I'll connect them all with a line. And now I have to look at what part I keep. I only keep the parts that are greater than or equal to 3. So where x is 3 on my line, well here's x is 3, so I'll follow that up. That's right here. And I'll put a solid circle there since it can equal 3. And then there's no upper boundary to this, so this just keeps going. So I'll leave the arrow there to note that it keeps going. And I'll go ahead and erase the rest of this line just keeping that part of it, okay? And I'll erase all of my other markings as well. And there we have it. That's the graph of this piecewise function. From negative 3 to 1, it's following this part of the graph. And then it jumps up from negative 1 to 3, and follows the rule x plus 1. And then at 3, it jumps up and follows the rule 3x minus 2 and continues on to infinity. Graph each one of these parts by themselves, erase the excess, leaving only the part that fits within the rules, and then move on to the next one until you have them all completed. And you'll be able to handle any of these piecewise functions. I hope that helps a little bit. If it doesn't, make sure to ask your teacher. They'll give you an extra pointer. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.